Mr. Corleone is Johnny Fontaine's grandfather. Now Italians regard that as a very close, very sacred religious relationship. You tell your boss you can do it. <laughs> now what? <laughs> this isn't going as well as I'd hoped. Tell your boss you can ask for anything else, but this is one favor I can't grant him. Mr. Corleone never asks for a second favor. Once he's refused the first, understood? You don't understand. Johnny Fontaine never gets that movie. That part is perfect for him. It'll make him a big star. But I'm going to run him out of the movies and let me tell you why. Johnny Fontaine ruined one of Woltz's International's most valuable protégés. For three years, we had her under contract. Singing lessons. Dancing lessons. Acting lessons. I spent hundreds of thousands of dollars. I was going to make her a big star. And let me be even more frank. Because I want to show you I'm not a hard-hearted man. But it's not all dollars and cents with me. She was beautiful. She was young and she was innocent. She was the greatest piece of ass I've ever had. <laughs> and I've had them all over the world. And then Johnny Fontaine comes along with his olive oil voice and his guinea charm. And she runs off. She throws it all away just to make me look ridiculous. And a man in my position cannot afford to be made to look ridiculous. Now you get the hell out of here. And if that Goomba tries any rough stuff, you tell him I ain't no band leader. Yeah, that's right. I heard the story. Thank you very much for the dinner and a very pleasant evening. Have your car. Take me to the airport. Mr. Corleone is a man who insists on hearing bad news at once. All right. Excellent. Oh, and see. That was amazing. Oh, that was great. <laughs>